over here coloring. This is B. That's what she wanted to be called today, B. She's my youngest. She's five years old right now. And she's one of the big reasons why it is that I have a firearm. In fact, multiple firearms that my wife and I can use to defend our family should we need to. At the same time, we have to be conscious and understand that if we don't take proper care of our firearms, if we don't think about firearm storage appropriately and handle it appropriately, the firearms that we depend on to keep our family safe could actually be the tool that harms someone we love. And that would be horrible. So today, we're gonna talk about firearm safety with B. <laughs> Welcome to Safety Solutions Academy. Firearm safety is incredibly important. We want to have our firearms accessible to us so that we can defend ourselves and our loved ones should we need to. But at the same time, those firearms need to be secured from unauthorized users. If we don't take that responsibility seriously, we then face the reality that we could have those firearms harming those that we care about the most. I'm here with B. B, we set something up today, right? Mm -hmm. we, we hid something, didn't we? Mm -hmm. What is it that we hid? My doggy. Yeah, you have a little stuffed doggy that you care about a lot, don't you? Yeah, and we hid your stuffed doggy and a plate of food for your stuffed doggy, just to make sure that it didn't get hungry while we were waiting to find your stuffed doggy. And in just a minute, I'm gonna have you look and see if you can find your stuffed doggy. When it comes to storing firearms, we have several choices that we can use to keep those firearms secure, yet at the same time keep them unavailable to unauthorized users. And one of the simplest choices out there is a quick access safe. Some of those safes use keypads and you press a sequence and the safe opens. Others use biometrics where a fingerprint is read from an authorized user and the safe opens for you. And the third kind that's out there now is a, a radio frequency identification. Use some kind of a tag or a bracelet or a card that can open that safe. And whoever has possession of that tag or that bracelet or that card has the ability to open up the safe. There are a lot of folks out there that use hidden yet unsecured as an option for storing their firearm. I'm not a big fan. Traditionally, kids are pretty curious. And if you think you've hidden something, oftentimes you're wrong because your kids have probably found it. So Brooke, let's talk about your doggy. Your doggy and a plate of food is hidden here someplace. Can you find it for us? Right now, can you find it? Yeah, your doggy is right around here. Is it camouflage? It's not camouflage, but that's a really good question. It's not camouflage. You better not bring nailing on it. No, I'm not. You want me to stand up and move? Yeah. Here, I'll come over to that side. You come over here. It might be easier. Is this easy for me to find? No, it's not over that way. Come on back over this way. Here, oh, well, you're the closest to your doggy that you've been so far. Come over and stand over here again for me. Your oil pastels are closer to the doggy than you are. Oh, so it's kind of like a clue for me? Yeah, that's a clue. Yeah, exactly. Nope, not down there. Hmm. hmm. Where could it be? Hmm. Come stand right here. Oh my goodness, you're really close to your doggy right now. I can't find it. You can't find it? Let me ask you a question. Do you want to keep looking, or would you like another clue? I'd like another clue. Your doggy's inside of something. <laughs> but remember, your oil pastels are very close to your doggy. So I have to stay around this table? Yeah, I would say. Yeah. Is that dog crazy? Did he move from the spot you put him? Nope. If he was, He's right there. If he was running around like this, I, it'd be easy for me to <laughs> yeah, find Yeah, you'd him. hear him, wouldn't you? Yeah. You're really so close to your doggy right now. I can't find him. Where? Oh, is he inside one of those boxes? Oh, what are oh. you doing? What? What are you? Are you 
because doggies inside of something. Oh. Huh? Isn't this open? How would that open? How do you have you seen it open? No. Okay. What doesn't this open? I don't know. Does it look like it opens? Yeah. Give it a pull. I thought it was. <laughs> there is your doggy. Ooh. There's your doggy. And his plate of food. Which he ate. Yeah, he's very healthy. Food. Bread and grapes. Awesome. Why don't you go ahead and set your doggy down right there? <laughs> and we'll take and set this table down right here and we'll finish talking about the table real quick, okay? <laughs> Thanks for your help. I might have a couple of questions for you as we go on, okay? Mm -hmm. So, folks, as you can see, until the idea that the firearm, or in this case, the doggy and the grapes and the bread, were possibly hidden inside the table, my daughter, who's an intelligent little girl, had no idea that there could even be a firearm stored inside this table. Now, this table is from Secret Compartment Furniture. You can find them online at secretcompartmentfurniture.com. And this end table is one of the simplest pieces of furniture that they have, one of the least expensive and simplest. There are no hinges, nothing fancy, just a compartment that's nice and lined with felt and a set of magnets and catches on this front face plate. Obviously, once someone knows that there's a firearm that's hidden inside this table, it's very easy for them to access that. But what makes a firearm in a situation like this secure is the idea that who would think to put a firearm inside of a table? Now, once my daughter, B over here, knows that there could be a firearm stored inside this table, this no longer becomes a valid storage option, storage option for me if I want to keep that firearm secured from unauthorized users. It just doesn't work anymore. And so if you choose to use a storage method like this, then secrecy becomes an important part of its use. It can't be shared with those folks that you don't want to have, to have access to it. It's that simple. This isn't a perfect solution for everyone. And now it's not a solution for my family at all. This table is going to be used in a, in a competition, a match. I'm setting up a, a realistic stage in a three-gun match this weekend, and we'll be using the Secret Compartment Furniture in that stage. So thank you very much to Secret Compartment Furniture for that donation. So it's not a perfect solution for everyone, but it might be a perfect solution for you. A table like this next to the bedside or possibly in the living room, used correctly, kept a secret, may be an outstanding place for you to store a defensive firearm. That is a decision that you need to make, something that you need to consider in the entire context of what it is that you're doing and what it is that's important to you and your family. Folks, thanks for tuning in to Safety Solutions Academy. Make sure that your defensive firearms are accessible when you need them, but don't do so at the expense of making sure that they are secured from unauthorized users. Get on out there, get yourself some training. When you do, make sure you keep it simple. Please stay safe, and as always, oh, I love your picture. It's great. Thanks. Have a great day. <laughs> that was really good. You did a really good job. Fighting my dog? Yeah. Do you Wait, think that is was that good? camera still on? <laughs>